Hello, and welcome to episode three of the Beginner Percussion Education Series. Today we're going to talk about taking the rhythms and the time signature and all that organized beat that we've looked at and start playing it through a system that we call clounting. And so clounting is a way that we can play rhythms without worrying about how to hold the sticks or hold the mallets or stand correctly because we'll get into all that later. So today we're actually just going to use what we already have to perform rhythms. And clounting just means that we're going to clap and C-O-L. C-O-L means count out loud. And that's a very important part of our clounting because the count out loud is what shows that you understand how all of these rhythms fit to the beat. So when we're counting rhythms out loud, the first thing I want to do is go over what that sounds like. So in this measure of four four quarter notes, we have beats one, two, three, four. Now you already know all this. So now let's just talk about how we're going to count it out loud. So when I'm counting these rhythms out loud, I don't want to say one, two, three, four because that type of counting had me stopping about right here with my counting. And so the problem there is that I didn't fill up the entire beat with my voice. And so if I don't fill up the entire beat with my voice, then I'm probably going to play early than on the downbeat. So to fix that, I want my voice to take me all the way to the next beat. So instead, that would sound like one, two, three, four. So I'm taking my voice and I'm filling in the space. So then that has me clapping on the next downbeat and not coming in early. Because remember, our number one job is keep the beat. So we use our voice to fill in that space. When I do my clounting, a couple things I'm going to need to do to make my clounting successful. First off, I'm going to need to have my foot tap going. So you can pick either your right foot or your left foot, it doesn't matter. I'm going to use my right foot so my right heel stays on the ground. And I'm tapping my foot with the metronome. The next thing I'm going to do is sit up straight and put my hands out in front of my chin so they're not up against my body so I can sit up straight. And then when I have a note, I'm going to clap. When I have a rest, I'm going to open. And my rests are silence that have beat. So when I open my hands, they have to open in tempo. I also want to make sure that my rests or my open claps look about the same distance apart as my regular clap. So if I clap a quarter note like this, I don't want to do my rest like that. So quarter note, quarter rest. And I want to keep them all the same. And remember the counting we talked about, I want to fill in the space for my quarter notes. So with the metronome, I get my foot tap. And if I'm going to count quarter notes, I would say one, two, three, four, and I fill in the space. One, two, three, four. That's too much unused space, which is probably gonna make me do this. One, two, three, four, and I'm gonna speed up. So I use all of the space with my voice. One, two, three, four, and that will keep me in tempo. So here's our first example in 4-4. Four, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, 
three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Here we go. Foot tap. And one, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Next, we're going to look at how we're going to count out loud for a half note or a half rest. So remember, our half notes and our half rests all equal two beats. And so my counting, my voice, has to last the entire two beats to take me to the next note that I have. So when I'm counting out loud for my half notes, my voice is going to continue through with one, two, three, four, and I'm gonna keep my voice going with no breaks. One, two, three, four. So I'm filling in that space. Remember, foot tap, sit up straight, hand set. One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four. 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 Foot tap, sit up straight. And one, two, ready, and go. One, two, three, four. 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 And one more time at the last tempo. Foot tap. And set. Sit up tall. And one, two, Ready, go. One, two, three, four. 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 Now let's look at counting out loud for a whole note. So the whole notes, remember, are four beats, whole rest, four beats. So when I put in my counts, I use my dashes all the way through. And remember the rests are in parentheses. And my counting again has to take me all the way through the measure. One, two, three, four. So I want to count and sustain all the way through. Foot tap. Hands up. Set. One, two, and ready, and go. One, two, three, four. 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 And you'll notice when I'm clouting my whole notes and even my half notes, because the sound is still going for the entire four or two counts, one, two, three, four. I'm holding the clap together to show that the clap is still happening. So I wouldn't clap one, two, three, but I hold it for the entire duration of that note. Foot tap, hands together, sit up straight. And one, two, ready and go. One, two, three, four. 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 
And our last tempo. Foot tap. Hand set. Sit up straight. And one, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four.